Hello, my fellow adventurers. This is Galator from Galator's Gaming, giving you another Splatoon 2 video. This time, we're going to be doing some matches. Um, some matches of, uh... Hmm. Should I go... I don't know if I should do rank. I'll probably... Actually, I'm going to do rank. I'm going to be using the sloshing machine, because that looks like... I've been playing with it a little, and I've been having a lot of fun. Oh, um... By the way, YouTube... If you're watching this, can you um ch freaking chill with the copy with the auto with your automatic copyright claim system? Because this video is under fair use, or the videos I've been uploading on Nintendo, by all accounts, are under fair use. So if you can do me a favor and stop screwing with me, so like if YouTube, if you can attend, if you can do me a favor and stop intentionally screwing with me. And from uploading content for people to enjoy, that would be nice. Because the way uh, the way the video is going, all you're gonna hear is my voice. There's no game audio, none, not a zip. And you have Nintendo. Uh, you don't actually have Nintendo to blame. You actually have YouTube to blame because YouTube's automatic system doesn't understand the concept of fair use. So now, I'm an incredibly... So now, I'm playing this game with no game audio, so it would be kind of boring for you guys. So now, I'm in a position where I feel like I have to talk to actually make up for the lack of actual sound. Oh, and I could try complain. I tried complaining to... YouTube, but YouTube doesn't actually have a contact information. Oh, actually, correction, they do have a contact information. The contact information consists of, um, a robot that actually doesn't actually do anything other than just intentionally screw with people. Uh, YouTube? We're making... Hey, uh, YouTube, don't you think you want to try fixing your system before, you know, screwing with anyone? That would be nice. And the reason why I'm saying that it's YouTube that's doing this is because, or it's YouTube's automatic system that's doing this, is because... Is that before my videos got any views, anything, automatically my video had content claims. As a matter of fact, I tried uploading this video before, and I didn't have one automatic copyright claim from Nintendo. I didn't have two automatic copyright claims from Nintendo. I had three. Three automatic copyright claims. And it wasn't from Nintendo. This is before... And this was well before my video actually had any views. My video had zero views. So there was no actual human input. It was completely YouTube's automatic system. So, gloom and doom aside, I should probably should get to the point. Uh, the point is, fuck you, YouTube. For not actually putting any actual input in this. And I'm sorry for your actually, I'm sorry for cussing out y you out, YouTube, but this is really ridiculous. You shouldn't, like, you shouldn't 
put a deep learning algorithm in if it's not if you're not going to teach it what fair use is. Because essentially what you did is that every video, it's deep learning algorithm can automatically claim everything is can say everything is copyright even if it's under fair use. And it's frustrating because I don't want any um, ads on my videos. So, yeah, that was pretty annoying. Like, I want no ads on my videos. There's nothing more annoying than someone watching a video ha and then having to listen to an ad that goes on from either 30 minutes or to a minute, constantly repeating itself over and over and over again. There's nothing that's more annoying. And funny enough, I actually try. And funny enough, guys, I actually tried to um, implement the copyright deadlock by using music from Queens, the "Don't Stop Me Now" music, because I'm having a good time. You know, positive, uplifting music. I used that for that video as a test. Um, I uploaded to YouTube. I only, for some odd reason, I only get a content claim from the music industry and not from Nintendo. So I thought, oh, well, that must have been that the only thing that was copyright claimed, copyright claimable, was the music. So I redid that video. I retested it, uploaded it. I did redid that video, uploaded it again without the music, just normal gameplay. Because I thought YouTube, you know, actually fucking did something. You know, the YouTube support actually did something to fix their horrible, horrible system. But it turns out they didn't. So, all in all, thanks for, um... Why am I playing this as like this is Turf War? It's not. Do you know how, you know guys, do you know how frustrating it is? Enjoying a game. You know, just generally positive enjoying, enjoying something. Only to have YouTube, you know, just generally being positive while playing a game. Only for YouTube to say, "Oh, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't have that video. You can't have that video unless we make money off you." Yeah, thanks YouTube. Even though, by all intents and purposes, this is under this is under fair use, and this is this video is technically, like this video I made is technically, by all intents and purposes, my intellectual property, since it's my content. The game, I don't own, but my gameplay, the gameplay that I'm playing right now, is my gameplay. It's so, by that essence, it's my intellectual property. The game, the gameplay, I mean. Not the game. There's a, there's a considerable difference. At least the way I see it. At least that's the way I see it. And also keep in mind, I actually asked uh, one of my relatives who is an actual lawyer. If this is considered fair use, she said it was. So maybe YouTube, what you need to do, so YouTube, if you see this, maybe what you need to do is throw us YouTubers a bone. Like, hell, you know, thinking on it, you know, really thinking on it, the re it definitely, like, thinking on it, the only reason why YouTube actually became such a thing is because YouTubers actually made it a thing. So, if anything, it's certainly, so if anything, the only reason why YouTube's so big now is because of us YouTubers. With that in mind, you would think that YouTube would, you know, cut us some slack. But, you know, 
They don't, so there's that. I didn't really want this video to be depressing. I mean, I didn't want really this video to come off as this way, or come off as angry, but it is pretty frustrating. Doing something that's, like, I'm doing something that's my passion. I'm playing a game that I enjoy, uploading videos for other people to see and enjoy, maybe get some laughs, you know, bring some positivity and whatnot. Only for, only for corporate shills to completely screw me over. Well, not completely. I wouldn't really say completely. But, if I'm, I don't want any ads on my video, and I'm not going to let any ads on my video, so, if YouTube is going to keep doing this on Nintendo content, or if Nintendo's system is going to keep doing this, I will definitely try to find ways to get them to stop. Or at the very least, get them to do their job. But, you know. No. Stop climbing that. No, no touch your missiles. Well, anyway, it certainly feels as though, like, the reason why I haven't been uploading as many videos of late is mainly because I've been doing my research on how the copyright claims and whatnot, and it turns out the copyright claims from the automatic system are not actually legally enforceable. Because the videos that I uploaded were considered fair use. A lot of the videos I upload were considered fair use. But considering the fact, but since it's an automatic system, this automatic system doesn't understand fair use. And I was going to call, and I tried calling YouTube to do something about it. Or at least ask them what they plan on doing about it. But apparently, but as I ex but I didn't expect them to have not an actual contact information that actually texts to a staff member, so that's annoying. So instead, I decided to call Google, you know, because Google owns YouTube. So I thought, hey, maybe you can act as the middleman and tell YouTube to, you know, do something. But apparently, they can't actually do that. Which is not, which is great. So I think what I'm going to have to do is do research on how to edit, like actual editing, because what I'm thinking of doing is that since Nintendo they don't allow you to take off your music, I think what I'm going to do is learn how to actually 
Like, get, like, maybe look for a sound editing program and, like, splice out the music in it. So, you'll still be able to actually hear gameplay, but you won't be hearing any actual music. We're in the lead! No, 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 no! Oh, that would have been bad. Son of a gun. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not surprised that I didn't get any points from that. Oh, what did I get this time? Anything good? Anything good? It... Oh, it's hot down here. I don't know why. It's the basement. It shouldn't be nearly as hot or warm, but... I mean, I guess I, it's kind of be explained since I was doing work in the garden, but... Meh. Wow, that match was uh, quick. Hey guys, we won. But seriously though, I should really look for a program. You know, I probably have some relatives... Well, I mean... I'm not even sure if I have any relatives who are... Who are... Who know about sound editing programs. I should get like a sound program that's able to identify music and it's able to identify uh, game audio. And just clip out the sound. Or just clip out the music. Because I'm thinking that's the thing that keeps tripping up the automatic system. Because any other game... Whenever I turn off the music... It's perfectly fine. 
all the other games. Wait, whoops. Damn! Ah, crap baskets! I got tag teamed. So I think I'm going to call that a video here, guys. Uh, if you guys thought this video was entertaining and enjoyable, by all means, if you wish, like, comment, and subscribe. It would really, it would really help me out. Um, and I wish you all to have a very good day and a weekend and all that jazz. This is Galator from Galator's Gaming, signing off.